Hello, my name is Mavi, and I have Miss Mila here, who is a two-year-old female intact French Bulldog, and she is unable to urinate. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to express a dog that is unable to urinate. First things first, please collect materials. You will need a pee pad or a towel um, to collect the urine for it to land on. And baby wipes or bottle of shampoo will help to wipe her after. Also, it works if you do have an assistant with you uh, to help hold the front end while you are working in the back end area. And then also for little dogs, I do like to place them on a raised surface. So on a table works fine. And for larger dogs, they can remain on the ground and on their side or standing up with assistance. The bladder is a round ball that lies in the back part of the belly. In a small dog, the bladder is about midway between the last rib and the hip. In a larger dog, it is closer to the hips than the ribs. We want to be able to feel the ball between our hands and apply enough pressure to empty it, while being careful not to push too hard. First feel for the bladder. Go slowly when touching the belly. Approaching too quickly may cause your dog to tense the belly, which will make it harder to feel the bladder. The bladder should feel like a small ball or balloon inside the belly. It may flop from side to side or slip through your hands. Feeling the bladder slip through your hands is often actually the first step in learning to express a bladder. Once you're relatively comfortable feeling the bladder, try to trap it between your hands. Using the flat part of your fingers or palms works better than actually using the fingertips. There should be some pressure of the bladder against your hands. Once you feel this, push your hands firmly but gently together and slightly toward the rear. Prior to urine coming out, you may notice the tail raise or the rear limbs lift. If you see this, you're probably on the right track. Continue to apply gentle, constant pressure. Note whether the urine is foul smelling, discolored, or if there is blood, mucus, or pus. You should also learn to gauge the amount of urine that you get out. Most owners are surprised at how much urine comes out of even a small dog. Finally, finding urine in your pet's crate or bedding doesn't necessarily mean that they urinated. It actually means that their bladder is full. Even sometimes when you pick them up, urine might come out. That means the bladder is full. So this means that you have to express the bladder more frequently or actually fully every time you do it. And don't give up. This takes practice. Watch this video as many times as you need to. You'll get it.